A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Having a wireless gaming mouse seems like a bit of a contradiction in terms. Most gamers want as little input lag as possible, especially if you're playing fast paced or competitive online games. Whereas if you're not a gamer, having a clutter free and smart looking desk with as few wires and cables as possible may be more important. But there is a middle ground and I'm in it. I want a clean, good looking desk with as few wires as possible, but I also play games like Battlefield 1, PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, Ghost Recon Wildlands, and GTA 5. If you've watched any of my videos in the past six months, you've probably seen in the background on my desk that I've been using one of these, the Logitech G900 wireless gaming mouse. Now I have had issues with wireless mice in the past. I used to own the Logitech G7, which uh, was not very good. It kept losing signal and it wasn't very responsive in games and the battery was terrible. But then when I set up this new desk, I thought I'd try wireless again. So I got myself a Microsoft Surface keyboard, which I also highly recommend. And also the G900 because everyone said that this was really, really good. And it is. But now we move on to the new stuff, going from the G900 to the new G903, which is uh, that one. I've also got the new G703, which we'll go on to in a bit. So the G903 is the best wireless gaming mouse on the market. It's a minor evolution on the G900, but I wouldn't buy it. Side by side, you would struggle to tell the difference. They both have an ambidextrous design, 11 programmable buttons, RGB lighting, a one millisecond response time, 200 to 12,000 DPI, and they even use the same PMW3366 optical sensor. So in the hand, you really can't tell the difference. And that's no bad thing. They both feel great. They're really comfortable, really responsive, but they feel exactly the same. Albeit the G903 has a slightly lighter click. It's not a big difference. So there are three main differences with the G903. Firstly, you can now add a 10 gram weight to the mouse if you want to make it feel a little more substantial in the hand. Number two is a feature called light speed, which Logitech say offers even less latency and a more reliable connection than the G900. Although after using both for a couple of weeks, I haven't been able to tell the difference. And finally, you have power play, which when paired with Logitech's new power play charging mouse mat, which unfortunately I don't actually have with me because it's still not out yet, uses inductive charging to wirelessly keep your G903 or G703 fully charged. It also doubles as the little USB dongle, which you would otherwise have to plug into your PC to connect these up. So it charges it and connects it, which means you no longer have to plug it in every few days to uh, top it up, which you would normally. And without it, both the G900 and the G903 will last you around 24 hours or up to 32 hours if you turn off the RGB lighting. But honestly, I don't get it. I really don't get it. The charging mat looks cool. The inductive charging is neat. And I guess it's kind of useful not having to uh, charge your mouse or, you know, it's always fully charged, especially if you're using it away from your desk. But for me, the whole point, like the biggest point of getting a wireless mouse like this is to reduce clutter, is to reduce the number of cables on my desk. I may as well just use a normal wired mouse if the G903's killer feature is that I can use it wirelessly on a wired mat that also has a bulky little box on the side. And you're paying for the privilege too. Not only is the G903 about 50 pounds more expensive than the G900, but the PowerPlay mouse mat will also set you back another 100 pounds or $100. Now to be fair, this doesn't take away from the fact that this is still an amazing mouse, but I would recommend everyone still buy the G900 over the newer G903. It'll save you a bunch of money. It's just as good. It uses the same sensor, so like performance is the same. And I just don't see who would actually want to use a wired gaming mouse mat. Perhaps if you already have or are invested in one of the new RGB mouse mats and you don't care about adding extra cable, fine. But then I still maintain you may as well then just use a wired mouse. Now where does the G703 come in, which I've got the little box for there? Well, it also supports the PowerPlay charging mat just like its bigger brother, the G903, but it only has six programmable buttons rather than 11. It has a more subtle, planar design, and it doesn't have an adjustable scroll wheel like these two do, which can go between this and this. Although personally, I actually think the G703 scroll wheel feels the best and it has quite a cool little RGB light which goes down the middle which neither of these have. It also comes in a white option if you prefer. The G703 feels just as responsive, it feels really good in the hand, it's got the same one millisecond response time, uses the same optical sensor so you can expect the same performance. But at around £100 it's 50 quid less than the G903 and about the same as the G900. So where does that leave us? 
Which should you buy? Well, unless you really want that power play charging mat, which I think is a bit of a gimmick, feel free to disagree, you may as well go for the G900 or the G703. At the end of the day, these are all terrific mice. Mice, mouses, and honestly, you can't go wrong with any of them. It's all about variations of good, you know, value for money. So if I absolutely had to choose one, which I were to go out and buy right now, I would probably go for the G703 because it's the latest one. Also, I like the look of it and it's quite cool, a little RGB thing down the center. And I do like the scroll wheel on this. So the G703 is probably the best bet out of these three. So uh, that's some kind of a conclusion, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you make of these in the comments below. Cast your vote in the poll at the top right to let me know what you think about the wireless charging mat. Maybe you completely disagree with me. I've missed the whole point of it and there are some real advantages to it. Let me know in the comments. I am keen to hear your thoughts and uh, cast your vote. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll put links to all three of these in the description below if you want to find out more. And I'll see you next time right here on The Tech Chat. Have you heard of Squarespace? You probably have because I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, but they very kindly sponsored this video. And I'd like to just take a few seconds to uh, let you guys know about some of the fantastic website template designs they have. So if you go to squarespace.com forward slash tech chat, there's a link in the description, you'll get 10% off when you sign up. So you can build your uh, fancy new online store or just your blog or your vlog or whatever it is you wanna do create a beautiful website from some of their pre-made templates, really quick and easy. They've got 24 seven support. Honestly, anyone can make a website using these, but uh, yeah, big thanks to Squarespace. I'll see you next time guys. Thanks for watching.